what's going on guys welcome back to clash with eric today we're going to be looking at laloon pathing this is applicable for everybody between town hall 9 all the way to town hall 12 and the basic idea that we're looking for here is we don't want our laloon to just get spammed in the base we want to know exactly how many blues we're going to drop in each location to make your laloon move seamlessly through the base regardless of which kind of laloon you can be doing either you're doing a queen charge laloon a sui hero laloon a electron laloon or a yolo tron I'm going to be doing some live attacks for the live stream later and we're going to be looking at some other attacks from the other one hive players as well as we have some guest stars from queen walkers we have guest stars from tribe gaming we have guest stars from coastal clash and we're playing against rtk so make sure you guys stick around because we have amazing laloon attacks all the way across the board here and we can see these principles put into action so make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's get right over into the practice mode where i'm going to start to show you how to actually to decide how many balloons go in each spot. All right, guys, we're over here in the practice mode for the Town Hall 11 Lawland attack. So this is going to give us an opportunity to make sure that we can get the correct number of balloons and you can use this as a tool to practice this to make sure that you're deploying the correct number of balloons on each defense so you can kind of make it a habit to do it in every single attack you do instead of just spamming the balloons all on one side of the base and hoping they get in the right amount in each area to move through the base. So how do we want to actually do this? Well, first, you always start up with a setup. So I said the setups a second ago. You have the Queen Charge Laloon. You have the Electron. You have the Sui Hero. This one was a Sui Hero. And then we have the... Uh Yellowtron. And so if you can use one of those to set up, try to take out the queen. If the queen goes down, then that's perfect. If she doesn't, you need to have a different plan for us. So you can use like dragons in your uh, slammer and try to aim it to go in after her, or you can use skelly spells under a rage and that can also get her down. So let's make sure we have the balloons going in in the right numbers as we collapse in this base. So we have a very dense core on this base. We have all the expos and infernals in the core of the base. So we want to make sure that the balloons can get there. So first of all, the first thing we want to do with our balloon deployment is make so that we have a path to get into that core. So we're going to start our Laloon normally on the flank of wherever our uh, main our setup there stopped. So we'll start our Laloon right over in this area and this will be the the push that wants to go to the core but we might have a bunch of the balloons as they go in here split off and go start circling around the base and never actually enter the core or we might have too little go to the core so we want to make sure that we clear out this area first so we're not going to start a la loon up here we're going to start it down here and then we'll work our way up towards the entry and that'll make so that this area goes down before we have balloons go into this area and that'll make so that all the balloons that go into this area will go into the the core and take out all those high hit point structures we will use haste initially because if we uh, set this up correctly then all of these buildings down here should be one shotted on the balloons entry and that'll make so that the haste are all you need you don't need a rage to increase their damage because you already know right off the bat that you're going to have enough balloons once they kind of split up and you don't know how many balloons you're going to have reaching each target that's when you want to use the rages so that's why we use the rages deep in the core when we don't know how many troops are going to be on that target and we can still get the one shot and have those balloons move seamlessly through the base if they ever don't one shot a target then it can cause that group of balloons to get delayed and then you will have the other balloons have to go back for it and the defense will be still standing if it's a high damage defense like an expo or an air defense or an inferno then it can cause you to fail because it's going to be dinging on you the whole time you're trying to work your way back to it or you might end up time failing if it gets missed completely so we want to make sure every single defense is dealt with as we move through so we want to start off by deploying the correct number of balloons. How many do you need for each one? Cannons need three. Archer towers need two. We have mortars need two. Wizard towers need four. We need two for a, an air defense. And then we need two for a bomb tower. And then uh, which ones did I miss? I got the expos and the infernos need five apiece. So if you can get that many balloons onto them, then they're going to one shot it. I always like to send one extra to each of those targets to make sure that I have enough to account for traps or something unexpected happening. If you have some Teslas popping, then quickly drop another one or two onto that Tesla 
to make sure that it goes down as well because that's going to throw things off and it could cause you to fall short in that area. So like I said, one extra on each. So instead of sending three to a cannon, I'm actually going to send four so I have a backup balloon. If I know there's no traps, then I can go and map it out even more. But on a fresh hit, we're always going to account for traps and Teslas and make sure that we overwhelm it just a little bit to make sure we can push through. So we're actually gonna send in the slammer on the corner here because we want the slammer to go in separated from the rest of the balloons so that the slammer doesn't uh, get outrun by the balloons in the haste and then not get any strikes off. We want as much value out of the slammer so every time it strikes, it's probably gonna one-shot most defenses uh, except for a couple of them like wizard towers, the expos and the infernos are gonna take a little bit more. But if we can have the slammer go in separated from the balloons, then it'll be able to get full value. So we're gonna send the slammer on the corner here. We're gonna send, uh, we need two for an archer tower, plus one. So we're gonna send three to the archer tower. We're gonna send four to the cannons because they normally need three. And then they will be able to collapse in onto the wizard tower. The wizard tower needs four, but with uh, four going to each of these cannons to one shot them, accounting for traps, then we'll have at least four going to the wizard tower. Same for the mortar here. With at least three going to the archer tower, we'll have a, a, a minimum of two reach it to the mortar. We'll also have the hound out there to soak up some damage and hopefully catch some of those traps to keep them off the balloons. And then the rest of the balloons are going to come in over here. We'll pre-cast our haste because we already know where the balloons are going to be coming in and we want to make sure that as soon as those balloons drop, they immediately go into a haste and start charging into the base. Once we get to the core, we'll rage and we should be good. So let's start this here. We start the slammer, or we start, we start the haste. We start the haste here and here so that they can work their way in. We can precast those. You don't have to be in any hurry because they last quite a while unless you have really low level haste. We'll put the slammer here. We'll get a couple hounds. We'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we'll send in the other hounds and then we'll put in a uh, bulk of the rest of the balloons here. This ones are not super important. We'll hold on to a couple because I don't know how many are going to be needed for the backside. We'll pop that warden ability as we approach into the core. One more rage. We'll get a haste for this group going around the bottom and then we'll use the other balloons that are still available to either snipe off stroll teslas or to go into the back of the base and clear out that so more haste as we get into the back of the base and we have some spare ones for uh cleanup if needed or whatever we might need for we'll throw a minion down there and the base is absolutely crushed so that's the basic idea of how you want to deploy your balloons so now let's head over to the live stream where you can see the masters in action and see how they're applying these principles to make sure that they never go approach a defense and they don't one shot it. So uh, this one's crushed. Obviously, it's a practice mode. It's very easy, but I'll see you at the live stream. With three hours left in the war, we have 22 attacks still going. One is going in live right now. This is against Pampa. Let's see what they can do here. Going with a Sui Hero Lalum. Not going after the no, he's not a superhero lolling. This is an electron. So let's uh go check out his entry here. Gonna use the queen to clear the way for the e drag inside of that slammer to enter the base there, going directly after it looks like the expo and the inferno. This ex or this uh, air defense here, I think he's counting on that queen to reach all the way over to it and take it down. That'll reduce a lot of the fire off of the e drag once those balloons come out, and he should get a little bit of cover from this one from the. Uh, balloons that he clones. He's got a troll Tesla over in the corner that the king walks right past. Let's see if he adjusts to it. He does. He drops a balloon and takes it out. He has the Coco Loon down from the slammer. Perfect execution so far. Taking one red mine to his slammer. That's not going to slow it down in the slightest. He's going to work his way through the inferno and then work its way outward in the base here. He's going to approach this sweeper and let's see if he can get a good angle to go into his queen here. He doesn't have any trash for the E drag to get uh, thrown onto on the outside there. He gets just the E drag. No, he didn't use his clone. No, now he uses his clone. He waits for the balloon to die so we can clone the e-drag freezes the air defense so we can make sure that those e-drags get full value that's going to take the air defense down the clone e-drag is getting chains into the eagle right now takes out the sweeper can this one get the inferno looks like it probably will even with the lightning even if it goes down before a shot but it gets the shot off this one is uh going through it's still got full health there i don't know how much uh, life it has left the slammer is now excuse me the crusher not crusher not slammer the eagle is now activated but it goes down right as it activates the cloned E-Drag fades and he's into the La Loon. So more Troll Tessas over there at 3 o'clock as he's going to work his way through that with the balloons. We've got more Hounds coming in to join. He's got 
a lot of haste here. I only use one clone, so that frees up a lot of spells. He's got the freeze for the Town Hall. He uses it right there, and this is looking like it's going to be another triple for RTK. Bringing it in huge here. Just needs to get that Warden in position. Gets it. He steps up just in time. Carries him into the final defenses. Taking some Black Mines there. Not going to slow him down in the slightest. He has a swag haste. He still has four balloons. He can drop those wherever he needs to help with the cleanup with 30 nine seconds left on the clock there he's gonna have more than enough time to get the cleanup done so nice attack there from rtk crushed pump his base with an electron attack so 99 percent and there's the hundred that's another three star rtk racking him in racking him in that was a beautiful attack gotta give him full credit there absolutely crushed that base so I thought I caught more of the Lothern attacks during the live stream live, but I guess I didn't. I guess I saw a whole bunch of Electrons and thought I had more. So we're just going to go dive into the actual replays here so we can go check out Pumpa and then Gaku's attack. Gaku did a Queen Charge Lothern and he also plays for the Queen Walkers and he is qualified to go to Germany for the World Class Championship. So big shout out to him and we'll see his attack in just a moment after Pumpa comes in here with a Sui hero Lalo Nuna. He's going to use a poison to deal with the CC. He knows that there is archers and there is a hound in the CC. This wasn't a fresh hit, so he got a little bit of scout, and so he knew he didn't need to bring a poison. He sends in the king after the P.E.K.K.A. clears the way, but he needs to get into the town hall, so he's going to have to wall break in. He brings in another balloon there to finish off that cannon to push the king in. A test wall breaker comes down to go find any small bombs in the area. Then the rest of the wall breakers come in, and then he can send in his queen, and the king will pop his ability to engage the enemy king, clearing the way for that queen to make it to the town hall. It was a beautiful entry here, a very high skill, difficult entry, but he ends up making it in. So now he's the Sardis Lalun. So he needs to have enough going into this air defense that he can take down the expo. If he doesn't, then he's going to have to, uh, he's gonna have to rage there. Uh, that's the only chance he's gonna have to one shot it. Otherwise, that inferno is gonna be beating on him the entire time. So he sends a pack to the, uh, air, excuse me, the wizard tower. He needs at least four there. He needs five to go into the expo, and then they can continue on. He's got the uh, balloons coming in from the side here. Two to the mortar. Two to the archer tower three to the cannon and then he finds a Tessa there as well pops the haste that's going to get them through they'll join up and then recombine to get more he gets a rage down in the middle and then he gets a freeze and the skeleton spell to go take out the enemy king the rage and the warden ability and the freeze and the skeleton spell all work together to bring that queen down to make sure that she uh, doesn't pick off any more balloons he's under heavy fire from that eagle artillery the entire way the queen still working through the base there she has uh, just tripped the tornado trap and she's going to sit there for just a minute while the cleanup troops are getting picked off by those Teslas. She'll step up and start working for the Tesla farm, but she's ultimately going to go down and the balloons are going to have to work their way backwards to the uh, the Eagle. So I, I wouldn't have even attempted this. I don't think... Uh I would have tried to go not getting the eagle very early because that makes me really nervous but he ends up getting the haste that gets him to the eagle works his way through the last teslas he's got some air skellies on him he's got cleanup all around but those air skellies are picking up i like to hold on to one minion to go in and try to pick off the air skellies wherever those balloons are going to be pathing near the edge of the base so that i can get them dealt with but pampa brings this one in big for one hive and lands a Sui Hero Lawloon. So now let's go check out uh, Gaku's attack with his amazing Queen Charge Lawloon. So let's uh, go check it out. All right, let's check out Gaku's Queen Charge Lalun attack here. So notice on this base, almost all the high priority targets on the base are accessible from this bottom quadrant of the base, but there's a huge amount of damage density there and it makes it very difficult for a Queen Charge to go in and be able to survive. So he's gonna have to be very, very careful and you'll see how he does that. And then we'll go and check out his Lalun after he does this crazy Queen Charge here, going in after the Queen. And now watch this Coco Loon. The Coco Loon's going after a black mine next to the air defense, but he has to rage to get it in that rage doesn't have double duty it's going to get the coco loon in to get the black mind tripped but it's also going to get the queen through the eagle and now he can move through engage the cc he'll get the poison down he's got some witches a balloon a bunch of archers and some valkyries coming out of cc big mixed damage cc she's going to burn through that very very quickly without too much problems it's a very good cc for the uh queen charge to have to fight if you can keep him grouped up he sends in the slammer to go relieve some of the damage and tank some of the defenses so that the queen doesn't 
have to use her ability and she can continue on. The slammer hits a black mine and is going to go down right here. And so it's going to let it close. It's fighting the sweeper. He just wants it to tank and relieve that warden off of the balloons there so that they can get through. The sweeper ends up switching to the healers, unfortunately. I think that was a, a kind of a bad thing right there because it knocked them into the air defense and the inferno range here as she engages the town hall. She's going to have to pop her ability. The balloons on the bottom side there got all the way to the mortar and then they went down but the queen is able to power through the king there and then take down the town hall a brilliant queen charge she's out of value and she's all done so in that comes a lalun he direct targets the defenses on the edge there and he can have pathing from one to the next as he moves through here not going to skip any defenses and making sure he has at least enough defenses or enough balloons on each defense to make so the balloons move flawlessly through the base without any delays he has over here two balloons come in here but one gets hit by a black mine if he would have sent one more he would have made it but it ends up getting a black mine right there he sends that last one in to try to get it to correct it and then he moves into the center of the base being very very extremely patient on his spells he's barely used any spells up to this point all the spells were used on the queen charge right going into the final area he pops the freeze gets the haste down and he's home free from there an amazing attack here by gaku and no wonder he qualified for for Germany and his team is going to go play in the world class championships and play for that million dollars. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed those attacks from the live stream, but it's not over yet. We have one more where right before we went live for the live stream, I did a Yolo Trone Lalun attack, and we're going to go show that off right now. So if you don't want to miss out on any of these live streams in the future, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and also follow me on Twitch. But let's go check it out. All right, guys, before any war attack, make sure you make sure that warden is on the correct mode. There goes on air now. We're good to go here. We're going into base 11 with the yellow Trone Lalun. So here's the army that we're going to be using. And let's go see if we can smash this. We're going live in three, two, one. We're live. Here we go. So heroes drop. Clear the way for the E-Drags to enter the base. Let's use the king. He's going to go here and work his way towards 9 o'clock. We'll use the queen. She needs to step up and take out the air defense and then go towards 3 o'clock. So that should give us a path directly into the inferno there with the E-Drags and the Slammer. Looks like we got Tessa Farm popping there on the king. We'll pop his ability, work our way through the Tessa Farm, and they should finish clearing out the trash there. So is that queen's doing a good job? And no, nope, king's attacking the wall there. We're gonna have to adjust here. We need to finish forming the funnel. So let's uh, throw an E-Drag up on the gold storage up here, gold mine I mean. And then we'll send in the other E-Drags and the uh, Slammer into the core. So we'll send them right now. And uh, Coco Loon as well. Uh, should have sent the Coco Loon first. That was uh, really stupid of me, but we'll get a rage down as we enter into the Inferno. And that'll give us some good shocks through the base here. Should have a CC pull, there it is. And we'll get a poison down to deal with that. Maybe we can catch the queen and the CC in the same poison. That's looking good. Good. The other E-Drag is joining with the other ones. We'll freeze this air defense and make sure that it's not causing too much damage. As those E-Drags come out, we'll get another Rage down and see how much value we can get out of these E-Drags. Attacking all defenses as they're just ripping up the core of the base. And it's looking good so far. Looking good so far. Let's get a couple minions down on the free buildings. I should have done that in advance there to collect the 50% before the balloons reach the town hall. We'll set an, uh, five there to direct target the Inferno. We'll send in a few to go to the Arch Tower, the Teslas, and the Wizard Tower will freeze up that inferno to make sure we get all the way in and then we will collapse into the town hall a couple haste going in we'll get the warden ability now perfect all right so now we're just coasting let's uh get haste every time we approach a wizard tower and we should be able to work our way all the way around so we just gotta have enough going into that last wizard tower last inferno it's, we're looking pretty good right now i'm happy with how it started um let's uh, get the haste going into the wizard tower right there and that'll also get us into the Archer Tower. And we'll get the heal going into the Inferno. So I don't, doesn't matter how many balloons are going in there. And it looks like, oh, well, those were weakened. Those were already weakened. So that works perfect. Oh, and the Warden one shots the last damage on the Inferno. And it's looking like we're just going to overwhelm the last few Archer Towers, get the last minion down. And this is looking like a three star for one hive. I landed it. Boom. That's what I'm talking about, boys. 
All right, we got tons of balloons left over. Look how many there are left. I got my ward into full health. I got cleanup all over the place, working behind those uh, balloons there to come in and get the last little bit. Plenty of time on the clock. Still almost got 30 seconds to spare here as we bring in this triple. That's huge right there, and that should uh, give us another little bit of advantage. We are already ahead, and now we're going to be a little bit more ahead. Beautiful attack there, the Yellow Trone Laloon. I hope you guys enjoyed that attack. That was a lot of fun. I was very happy that I landed that. I was in a little bit of a three-star dry streak there on my Town Hall 12, and so it felt good to finally land that triple, and it was a fun attack to do it on there. Love some Yellowtron Laloon, but make sure you guys go out there, practice your Laloon, get the pathing correct, and go win some wars. That's going to be it for today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.